Back in June, City Council passed the new Connected Community Zoning Policy that allows developers to build more multifamily housing throughout Cincinnati. It was a largely opposed policy, and now communities like North Avondale, they're fighting ways to try to have some control on what the changes are going to look like. So Brenda Ordonez is live after speaking with community leaders about their plan. What does it look like, Brenda? Yeah, Megan, Trisha, North Avondale Neighborhood Association is actively working to designate a portion of their neighborhood as a historical district. They say that they're welcoming the density that connected communities would bring to this area, but want to make sure that what's being built goes along with and doesn't change the architectural landscape that's already here. The real impetus is connected communities. Uh, and concern that uh, we've kind of lost control of our, having a voice mm -hmm. in the type of development. Cincinnati's Connected Community Zoning Policy gives way for developers to build multifamily housing without set guidelines as to how the buildings have to look. That's the piece that's sparking concern in North Avondale. Our main focus is to preserve the architectural integrity of these beautiful homes. What we don't want to do is encourage developers to come into our neighborhood and uh, build prefab um, box homes that are cheaply made and that don't fit in with the rest of the neighborhood. Don Johnson and Walter Kuski with North Avondale Neighborhood Association are working to designate a portion of North Avondale as a historic district. If passed, this would require developers to get their designs approved before they can build. We would like to have a useful website tool for developers to use that lists what the design standards are and what they are and are not allowed to do. Boundaries for the potential historic district haven't been set, but Kuski tells me they have their eyes set on the northeastern part of the neighborhood. So I think it's wonderful. It's a great community engagement project. Vice Mayor Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney sponsored the group, but does note some potential downsides. If you get historic designation, it means for any changes you're making on your existing structure or new structures that you build, they have to fit within certain guidelines. The vice mayor says building costs could also increase for developers and residents. Johnson says they're still working on this proposal and are encouraging community input. We are not doing this to block anyone out of our neighborhood. We welcome new residents. We want new homeowners. Uh, send the developers a message um, as far as what our standards are and what is acceptable to us. You know, the vice mayor says if this is passed by council, there has been talks of creating something of a fund that residents can access if they can't afford those upgrades and updates to their home. Again, Kuski and Johnson say that this is still in the works. They say they're still ironing out some of the details and really just trying to drum up support from local residents. They tell me that they hope to have this portion designated by the spring and their future goal for the coming years would be for that to expand to all of North Avondale. For now, live in North Avondale, I'm Brenda Ardoniaz, Fox 19 now.